Welcome back to Good Day, everyone. I'm joined now with Gail Morrill. She is from Gabe's, which does alteration, repair, and bridal exchange. And you have just won the Downtown Business yes, Members Award. we're very excited about that. You all do the the downtown yard sale. Well, we do. The urban the yard first, sale. In fact, we're going to be doing that the first Saturday of every month, except for March. Uh, if people want to set up to bring things in to set up for like the yard sale themselves, they just contact us at Gabe's. I luckily was challenged for, through the group as to be the one to handle that. Uh, we had it last Saturday, even with the oh. and everything. Several people showed up and we had sure. a really good time. Yeah. Well, if, if that wasn't enough on her plate, she's going to be coming in <laughs> every Tuesday for the next few weeks talking all about wedding planning. And now, Gail, you were telling me that it's wedding season. Many people think it's, you know, the spring, the summer, mm -hmm. but wedding season is here. Wedding season is here from the months of January through March is actually considered as bridal Christmas time. Uh, if you think about it, the girls get their engagement rings on Christmas, then they <laughs> sure. get them on New Year's Eve, and then they're going to be getting them on Valentine's Day. So that's when they get all excited and they want to begin to prepare for the wedding. So that's what we're going to talk about today and for through this series is what to look for in preparing for your wedding. When you go to purchase your dress, there's certain things you want to be ready for to watch when you decide to get what sure. to get. You want to be sure whoever you have doing your alterations knows what they're doing with the wedding dress. It's totally different Send from any to other Gabe, dress. I'm <laughs> well, well, I'm not going to grab all of this for us, but we will take all we can get. <laughs> but we have several in town that can do real good at these things, but there are just certain features you need to watch for to be sure they know what they're doing with it. Sure. Uh, we're going to talk about your bouquets, how to choose your colors. Um, but the first thing I want to tell everybody, the first step you have to do is when that fella gives you that engagement ring, First thing you want to grab him, give him a big old kiss. Oh, well, first you got to say yes. <laughs> oh, that's right. Well, I guess you, you give him that yes. kiss, he takes that as yes. You oh, have to giggle. I've never, I've never been proposed to, so I wouldn't know. But, but I want to remind you girls, this year is leap year. Okay. So you get to pop the question yourself if he's taking too long. I've got some girls that say they've been dating for three or four years, and I'm like, what's the holdup? He's not brave enough. So jump in there and be brave. But I was told just the other day, this is leap year. I'm not checked it on my calendar yet to be sure, but if it is, it I is said leap like, year. yay, this is it. <laughs> so, so is leap year kind of the excuse that girls can ask the question? That's, that's like you say, okay, honey, we've been going it this long enough. I'm ready to tie the knot. How about you? But, but um. But have that engagement ring ready, the one that you really like, but have their sales receipt for it too. You want to make sure he takes <laughs> care of that. <laughs> but the first thing you want to do when you accept that engagement is to begin to prepare. Okay. To do that, um, I'm going to begin next week by showing you how to do an organizer. Okay. Uh, you can go out and buy all these organizers that are ready made, but you have a lot of extra pages you don't use, sure. and sometimes not the ones you do. And most of them are binded, so you can't get extra sheets in. Hmm. So I'm going to tell everybody, get you a one and a half to two inch ring binder. Just white a simple one. one you can buy. Just a simple one. Get I like white the white. One. Get the white one. Maybe this put is, a little lace around the edges. That's right. <laughs> and you can decorate it how you wish. Or sometimes you might want to take it to your grandmother or your aunt and let them decorate it. Sure. That oh makes God, everybody so involved sweet. with everything. And then you want to get you some, some binder, I mean, uh, separator pages. Mm -hmm. uh, tell everybody to get you some of those clear uh, what do you call the clear little advisors that you put Kinda inside? Kind of like card it. holders? Yeah. Well, trading. no, you want to see we slide your pages down in there because you're going to okay. decorate them. We're going to be sectioning it off step by step as to what you need to do. The purpose of having in the ring binder is once you've completed something you have to do, we can take that out and put it back in your holding section in the okay. back of the book. So you can flip back to it. So then but you don't get confused with that's right. to do and already done. That is right. Um, and you want to keep in mind, this is the, one of the happiest times of your life. Mm -hmm. And you want to remember everything about it. So don't throw things away that you say, oh, I'm not going to need that. When later you'll think like, oh, I wish I'd had that for my book. Sure. But your, your pre preparation book is something that you'll keep for years to come just to go back and laugh with but now you have your ring now you're ready to get started back up be slow take your time enjoy your engagement season with the groom and the sure. family you know celebrate it have a good time be romantic I'm a romantic <laughs> you can't tell that can you no not at all <laughs> they call me the hugger at church I love to <laughs> hug folks <laughs> Uh, but, but you want to keep your eyes set on making sure the groom is part of preparing for the wedding. Absolutely. A lot of the brides, they get engaged. Oh, I'm getting that wrap-up sound. When we come back, I'll tell you what to do after, after we get started with 
organizing. How about that? Sounds good. We're going to hear from her, like I said, every single Tuesday through the end of January and into February, just getting all of you brides out there prepared for your big, big day. We'll be back with more Good Day just after this.